Broadcasting from the greatest castle in the world, in the County of Lawrence, NCTV 45. Well, folks, we got a comment that came in, where's the snow? Well, there it is. <laughs> As uh, you see a snowy day in Newcastle, Lawrence County, and we're looking right now at, this is Fall Street, and actually, uh, snow's starting to stick on the roadway now. Now you're looking um, down East Washington Street, looking west, and uh, as we get downtown, and uh, we could say this that the side streets are very icy and slushy. Hello, folks. Well, uh, we're up here taking a look at Route 18, and. Uh, City streets, the main city streets, in good shape. Uh, as you look at the town, the side streets are still bad, but uh, main streets just real uh, getting passable. Uh, just saw head over by the medical arts building and running across the street. Uh, but um, plow trucks are out. Well, folks, here you go, uh, another round. We are currently getting snow in Newcastle. Now, the roads are hit and miss. As you can see, in some places, even though they've been treated, it's snow covered, and in others, not so much. So, uh, in your travels today, especially on the side streets, you're gonna notice that they're slightly snow covered, a dusting. Um, but as you get out to the main road, sometimes there'll be no snow, sometimes there'll be a dusting on them. And here's the, the kicker. The fact that the temperature is down a little bit is going to lead to those black ice spots where you could hit it and be spinning or going for a sled ride that you really don't want. Yeah, on a cold winter day, there's nothing better than a visit to Los Amigos. Now, I got the chimichanga and rice, refried beans, and of course, some hot sauce to go with it. How beautiful is that? Try Los Amigos and uh, just enjoy. It'll make you forget all about the snow. Okay, folks, 25 degrees in Lawrence County and light snow falling. How are the roads? Well, uh, take a look. They are dusted with snow and ice because of the low temperatures. Okay, folks, we are in a snowy type morning. Yes, outside. And you're looking at Jefferson Street here. There snow in the middle as salt trucks were just out and around but parking lots side streets sidewalks that's what you have well yes i posted it i shared it and now i'm gonna eat it here i am at cedars getting that fish sandwich and look at that I figured I'd better have a good lunch before basketball tonight, sponsored by Cedars. So um, make sure you tune in and uh, before the game, go get a nice hot fish sandwich. That is a massive part of our campaign for 
referendum that is an integral part of Aaron's elections, but also the other elections that we've assisted with under Outback. We use data and any data that we can find to campaign effectively. You can be right all you want, but if you're not effective, you'll never have the chance to make a difference. And it is this is Crane Room Excellence. Take a look at that appetizer, as they call it, the yo platter. This makes Saturday night perfect. Yes, it's the crane room. You should try and get there tonight. Good morning, NCTV45. If you're heading to work today, and Route 18, the American Legion looks like they're getting a new gas line put in. As the gas company's over there, they've dug a trench and they're doing some work right downtown by Sheets and the car wash. So uh, be aware of that as you go through your travels early today and uh, be careful out there. Angelo Parada for NCTV 45. We're having a party and everybody's going to be eating. Yeah. Where am I? I told you on the morning show, Allie's Upper Crust and National Pizza Party Week kicks off with NCTV 45. Look at that. And by the way, I don't know if you knew, the pepperoni pizza is the number one pizza as people, well, that's what they prefer. So it's lunchtime and you want to have the number one pizza and there you go. It's Allie's Upper Crust. And uh, how about that? Remember that day? Check out Allie's Upper Crust. It's great pizza. And you'll want to celebrate all week long. National Pizza Party Week. NCTV 45. Angelo Parada. Yes, it's raining today. And you're looking at the hood of my car. But I want you to notice one of the things. Look at it with that fresh showroom wax. That was gotten at Easy Clean Car and Van Wash. Right up there in Neshanik and it did one wonder of a job. Make sure tomorrow when the sun shines, you're getting a car wash at Easy Clean. Apparently an accident as you head over to uh, North Street and Mercer, as you can see, uh, vehicles, police vehicles, a tow truck, everything down there. If you have to, avoid the area as uh, traffic beginning to build uh, and get backed up. Angelo Parada for NCTV 45. And I told you, National Pizza Party Day. It's Chubby's for lunch. There's pepperoni. There's sausage. And I got my root beer and my hot pepper seeds. I am ready to go. Do you have your Chubby's pizza? It's right for supper, you know, and it's great for lunch. Chubby's. Check it out and uh, just enjoy. Happy National Pizza Day made with Augustine's ingredients. And folks, here we go again. Crone Avenue 108, full of construction. And uh, it was even further down by the bridge. Make sure that if you're traveling this area, up in Croton 108, you're extremely careful.
Angelo Parada for NCTV45. We're on Cascade Street at the Newcastle Post Office. Construction all around as you head down Croton Avenue and also on Cascade Street uh, going very slow. If you're going to, and you can see a stream of cars now, He's just held up from the construction that is uh, over by the fishing hole across from Crestview Apartments. Situation downtown on Jefferson Street. Try to avoid the area. Work being done, that's the Fall Street Bypass. As you can see, it's down to one lane. Be careful over there as uh, crews are out performing some work. And uh, what better in this bright sunshine? NCTV 45, we're available anytime on your time. Have a great day. Smile, it's Friday. And NCTV45 has great programming for you. Get that cup of coffee and a donut and have a great day. Hello, welcome to NCTV45. As you can see, Highland Avenue uh, blocked off. They are out there fixing the poles uh, and electric on the poles right at the bend beyond uh, the old Universal Rental Building. Anybody for a little snack? Los Amigos. This is one of their appetizers and is it looking good? Well, time to eat. Make sure you stop by. And here we go. Pitcher warmed up. Two on, two outs. Bottom of the fourth. Ball fouled back. 10 0 Canes. Ball hit in the center field. Canes will score. And that's 11 with runners at the corners. Ball hit into the outfield, caught, and that's going to do it for the inning. As uh, Keynes with that 11-0 lead, we'll be right back. Anytime, anytime at all is a good time to go to Los Amigos. What am I having for lunch? That's rice, jalapenos, on top of it steak, some queso, and some of that great, great Los Amigos flavor. Make it Los Amigos for your lunch. You will be totally satisfied. Mexican pizza at Los Amigos. Look at this. Topped with fries, a little ketchup, some salsa. Just the right little snack. And I'm doing this after the game. 
stop by and check it out. It's Mexican Pizza at Los Amigos. Yeah, it's great to be at Mickey D's. Get an English muffin and a coffee. Just right. Dining room is open. Glad to see it. All right. Thanks for everybody for showing up on this beautiful day today. Um, I'm Rod Robinson. I'm from the Veterans Council. And folks, there you go. As we round the corner downtown here, right at the Washington Center and the corner of PNC Bank. As you could see, not a good sight as accident up on the curb. You've got ambulances, uh, police, Washington Street blocked off, and uh, a fire a truck down on the other side. It's quite the situation. I try to avoid Washington and Mill, East Street, downtown, uh, as it's blocked off, and... Uh, not a good situation. This is Angelo Parada for NCTV 45. Yes, it's Chubby's for lunch, and I am right on it. And are you feeling kind of summery? Do you need a pepperoni puff? Pepperoni puffs are here at Chubbs. And always that delicious pizza. If you're missing this, you're missing. It's Chubbs. For lunch, for supper, anytime. And take a look at this. Yep, pepperoni puff. Mm. Make it chubs for your lunch today. Maybe supper. Hello friends, and I'm at Papa's Gelateria. And if you like paninis, I got the Cabo Panini. It is looking excellent with the soda right there. You gotta stop up and try one. And you know, why not get a sandwich and some gelato? Lunch just around the corner and this is a great idea to make your sunny Tuesday just a little bit better. Papa's Gelateria. They got paninis. Make sure you stop by. And especially you folks that are Italian, because you know what a panini is.
because I can see who's coming on screen. You got to have one of these paninis for lunch. Have a great lunch. I know I'm going to. Okay, folks, we're in the bottom of the sixth, and there is a rain delay. If the game is called, we win. We're up 3-1, and uh, things look good for the Canes. I'm, I've got my people down there, and they're going to let me know as soon as anything comes up. So 3-1 Canes, bottom of six. We're in a rain delay, and um, we should. Well, two balls, two strikes, two outs. Chains with the lead, 7-4. We'll keep it right here. Ball goes foul. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Canes win, 7-4. Canes win 7-4 and moving on. Canes win 7-4. And Canes move on in the WPL playoffs. Okay, two outs, one on, and there's a swing and a miss as uh, we are two strikes away from going to the championship game. There's a ball. Canes uh, have been in control the whole game. It has been fantastic. One ball. And now two balls and a strike as um, two outs were in the seventh. And uh, two balls, two strikes, and uh, one pitch away as uh, you'll get to see the celebration here. And it will be amazing. Ah. Uh, just foul tipped and um, that two balls, two strikes and here's the wind up and a swing and a pitch and the Canes win the Canes win the Canes win 3-0 Rio Canes win three one. Excuse me, Canes going to the title game. First time in school history, Canes going to the state. They beat Montour three one. Shenango up next, and what a great day for Hurricane baseball. And you could see the crowd behind it, and uh, place. Absolutely packed. Canes win 3 1.
and uh, capacity crowd is an understatement here at uh, the Shanick Township High School, uh, the baseball field, and uh, great job, Canes. Anthony Miller goes the distance, and um, as uh, the gunner would have said, there was no doubt about it. Good job, Newcastle Red Hurricane. 3-1 over Montour. Let the celebration begin. And, uh, well, Shenango up next. Newcastle wins. 3-1. What a dilly. The Canes came up, and it looks like the Cats are going to do it too. Really? Before you go to Happy Valley, you need a Philly. Go to Cedars. It's amazing, and their special today is the Cedars Philly Steak Sandwich. Just right after a hard day at the Diamond. Way to go, Cats. Way to go, Canes. Congratulations. And uh, seconds away from what looks like a WPIAL championship for the Newcastle Red Hurricane. One ball, two strikes, two outs. There's the windup, and there's the pitch. Well, everybody was anxious there. Give you a little scoreboard shot. a great, great game. Great job. No hitter for Rocco into the fifth and then gave up a hit. So you got five runs, five hits, and no errors for Newcastle. One run and no runs, excuse me, one hit and four errors. Canes win. Canes win the WPIL championship. That's Shenango, that's Union, and now the Newcastle Red Hurricane. Can't wait to news watch tomorrow. Way to go, Canes. Five nothing canes, and they'll line up for the meadow medals. They won't be facing us, so. Uh, but hey, great win! Congratulations, NCTV 45. Anytime on your time. A road to the championship, paved with rain, adversity. NCTV 45, the train, anytime on your time. Two outs, and the celebration will ensue here.
Strike one. One ball, one strike. And uh, here you go, two strikes away. They called that a ball. Rain just being a little misty right now. Three balls, one strike, two outs. Miller working fast, throwing strikes. There's a full count. And um, you're going to watch history on this pitch. Strike three. Congratulations to the Newcastle Red Hurricane. Please share. This is Angelo Parada for NCTV 45. Please share. 7-3, Kings. And let the celebration begin. The city of Newcastle. Welcoming, welcoming in the state champions. I'm Angelo Parada. Share this video. Share our updates. Congratulate all the teams this year. Congratulations. Angelo Parada for NCTV 45. A road to the championship. Paved with rain. Adversity. And everything today, it's Cedars. Look at that Pittsburgh sandwich, the fries, 
I already had Gibby grape leaves and uh, hot cheese balls. You better get the cedars. It's delicious. Great food. Cedars. Celebrating the win. Way to go, Canes. Congratulations, Wildcats. Great season. Croton Avenue, one lane at the bottom of the hill. They're doing surveying. This is at the base of the hill, the bike trail. If you're coming this way, expect a little delay. Now, in a turn of events, as we came around, what we were able to see, there was a Hempfield elevator truck downtown. It took out the pole. And you could see the pole right in front of Pegley's Pasta Moore uh, just hanging. Road blocked off. You're not going any too far on Washington Street. You should be able to take another route as um, very congested, very backed up, and you got to go around. There's um, no other way around it. <coughs> I think that um, some may, people may be out of power, and uh, for that, uh, be very careful out there. Very hot and... Uh, could have been anything right now. We we just don't know. Area blocked off on East Washington Street, and uh, be extremely careful as uh, you motor about today. NCTV 45 weather is supposed to be very hot over the next few days, so uh, stay tuned to NCTV 45. We're available anytime on your time. Have a nice day. Folks, <laughs> you better believe it's a little bad out. I don't want to mince any words. As we came up Highland Avenue, branches were falling off trees faster than the rain was coming down. At one point, we were in a total washout. Now, as we go across... Here, you can see the branches on the ground. The rain was very, very heavy. And um, be careful out there. It's a little bad and a little tricky. Uh, branches down all over Highland Avenue. And uh, I ask you to use caution. And it seems to be slowing down right now where we're at on the corner of Hazelcroft and Albert. So uh, be careful out there. For NCTV 45, I'm Angelo Parada. Wait do you see this on a hot day. You've got a gusher. It's a fountain. That right outside the NCTV 45 studios and uh, a heck of a puddle going. So, uh, Angelo Parada for NCTV 45. Share that with a friend. That'll cool them off. Just five minutes away, it's the Lawrence County Careerling Job Fair here at the Scottish Rite Cathedral. And um, a lot of companies, uh, businesses, might be just right for uh, a future career. And um, would like to see you. For NCTV 45, I'm Angelo Parada. If uh, you're coming across Cascade Street, 
be aware that uh, pretty large fire back behind uh, the garage. We're at Shenango Treetop uh, across the street, and you can see a whole bunch of uh, smoke and what have you. And uh, it just making its way th through. Uh, this is off of Cascade Street, and you can see the garage and right there behind it, emergency vehicles on uh, the scene. So uh, be aware that this is an issue and uh, we'll keep you informed. If you're traveling East Washington Street, be aware, issues right there. <laughs> As uh, you got a lot of vehicles, it looks like a pole was taken out. You're not going too far on East Washington Street, that right be by Riardo's. Be careful, NCTV 45. Now, I'm with Anthony Hooker D. Thomas. Anthony, how you doing? Good, Ange. How are you, buddy? Okay, happy summer, and look at this. Nina's Italian Ice. Holy mackerel. If you haven't had this, I, I can't even tell you how bad you've been affected by these other things. <laughs> Now, tell us, how long have you been serving ice? Well, this is our 12th season. We, wow. Yes, um, thank you to the community for this. Supporting local, small business, private owned. Uh, we were three years on the south side of Newcastle, and we've been in beautiful Cascade Park for 10 years. So that is amazing. Good. Now, you have tremendous flavors. Yes. And when I go up there, it's very hard, but I go with the lemon ice, but you have, well, tell us about your flavors. 15 flavors, all homemade, uh, factory made, not in home, but they used to be. But we have mango, lemon, black cherry, uh, black raspberry, grape, uh, banana daiquiri, cotton candy, rainbow, root beer, chocolate, um, all dairy free. And they're uh, all cholesterol free. They're fat free. They're kosher. So... And it's no lactose intolerance for me right. because I have that issue. Now, let me ask you a question. And I got it. My wife got the mango with the ice cream. What's the most weirdest combination you've ever had? Oh, with grape and chocolate mixed. That has great. <laughs> yes. A Without a doubt. Grape. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yes. That would make somebody whine. <laughs> yeah, and for anybody with diabetic or watching their sugar, we have sugar-free cherry and sugar-free lemon to offer. Now, isn't that spectacular? And my man, Nina's Italian Ice. Hooker, I'd like to thank you. Thank and, you. And it is just great to be able to come to the park, talk to you, Get some great ice on all those hot summer nights. Yep, 12 to 9 every day, seven days a week. So there's no reason for you not to get here. Thanks again, and that's our business of the week, Nina's Italian Ice. Downtown Newcastle, Friday Night Live, the Durrell.